that could be a serious roadblock for the FTIL stake sale. Bloomberg TV India learns that the MCX board is against sharing the PwC audit report with potential bidders. Saloni has been tracking that story for us. Saloni, you know, uh, I don't get it. So here's an external auditor who comes and does an audit and presents his report, but the guys who are bidding will not be given access to that report. Well, clearly, Harsha, uh, this raises serious corporate governments, uh, governance issues as far as MCX and FTIL is concerned. Remember, uh, the MCX uh, board met on Saturday and they decided that they will not share information which PWC audit report clearly states. Now, this audit report has already been shared uh, to the Forwards Markets Commission and they are uh, going to refer this report to the Income Tax Department because of serious corporate governance and taxation issues. But as far as the board is concerned, they will be seeking a legal opinion on sharing this report, also seeking opinion from the FMC. Uh, and the third important bit uh, is that they will be releasing a summary of the report uh, to BSC and NSC today, but the entire details of the report will not be released because they so say... So the FMC has the full report. Yeah. Uh, a slice of it or excerpts of that will be given to the stock exchanges. Yes. Um, and that's about it. That's so about the it. world does not know what the yes. PWC has said in that report. Uh, that is the bone of contention with potential uh, bidders. Remember, Reliance Cap was the highest bidder, and it went and complained to the FMC saying that we have a right to know the contents of uh, the uh, PWC report because it raises serious taxation uh, issues and corporate governance issues as far as both MCX and FTIL is concerned. Remember, we ourselves did a story as to how 1,000 crore rupees were paid uh, to FTIL as third-party transactions and uh, taxation exemption was taken on these 1,000 crore rupees, which comes under tri transfer no, no, pricing. No, it's clauses. also a question of true value. You never know, you know what the company really contains, which is why the, 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 the report really was started in, in the first place. Isn't Asha, it? But importantly, FMC had asked uh, MCX and FTIL to disclose this PWC audit report with <laughs> the potential bidders. There were almost nine potential bidders as far as the MCX uh, stake sale is concerned. Uh, but right now, uh, FTIL had a deadline of 24, uh, 24th of April as far as the stake sale is concerned. Uh, FMC deadline is 30th April. Uh, now, we also spoke to the FMC chairman and he indicated uh, that uh, MCX was going to approach them as far as the, the extension of this 30th April deadline is concerned. But we'll have to wait and watch so what we don't the have, FMC decision is. The FMC is. doesn't have a view on this, uh, whether they should be sharing this report or not. They've not said anything about but it. They had initially uh, said that the report should be shared, but mm. there is nothing in writing, Harsha. So there, uh, there, there's not happened. an order. There, there's nothing there, from yes, FMC. There's nothing in writing.